is Rahul from Eternal Send Journey. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, I do reviews uh, and interviews on Instagram. I'm joined by Arliya Gisha, who Hello. is one of the oldest friends, let's say, of the channel and of mine. And I'm really glad to be saying that we are sitting in Cannes for the duty free, and it's such a pleasure to be doing this with you, Arliya. Pleasure for me as well. Yeah, we, we two years, three years ago we started, or Matya um, Premier started in October, and now it's like. A third year anniversary or? Yes, correct. Right, I remember right from the beginning when we launched uh, Matière Première a bit less than three years ago. Uh, we, we met you and yeah. started to, you know, to make reviews about Matière Première fragrances, the first ones, the yeah. ones you liked. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a, a nice, uh, nice journey. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, wonderful to be this time together in yeah, person. Yeah, in person, right? So you, you, if you know me, I do a lot of lives, but uh, this time I could not miss the opportunity to, to meet him uh, and do this. So, um, of course, you can check the other lives uh, and I will link them down below. But today, of course, we are talking about the brand itself a little bit, but the newest fragrance uh, from the brand called Crystal Saffron. And I'll give it to you, Arnia. Please say a little bit about Matea Premier before we move to the, to the newest fragrance. So, the philosophy be behind Matière Première. Matière Première means raw material. And um, I work as a perfumer for different fashion brands. And I wanted to create a different, uh, I would say, Maison de Parfum. That was actually where the star was the raw material. As I said, Matière Première means raw material. And every fragrance that we create at Matière Première are built around one main ingredient. Um, in my formulation, because I'm the founder and perfumer uh, of Matière Première, uh, in my formulation, I will try to work on a very specific way of formulating one central ingredient that is overdosed, and I will just amplify certain facets. So it's a very kind of minimalistic approach with an overdose of one natural ingredient. Right, and that overdose sometimes sounds like it's going to be an overly heavy thing, and I think what you are able to do very magically is to somehow make that shine and support it with the ingredients that you know make it whole and it, 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 it is a saffron, it is an incense, it is you know uh, sandalwood but or neroli uh, but it's just you know it's a symphony and I think that's that's the magic of, of, of all my premier fragrances. Exactly, in fact you know not everyone knows that but an ingredient, a natural ingredient as I have it on my desk when I start formulating is in a way already a, form, a formula. A natural ingredient is made out of many different molecules. And when I create a fragrance for Matière Première, I will find associative ingredients that will amplify certain facets of that ingredient. Mm -hmm. So in a way, uh, as you say, you give the illusion that it's only one thing because you associate coherent ingredients together. Yeah, right. Right, and now, so, I mean, I have spoken a lot about my love for other fragrances, but today we are talking about crystal saffron. And I, I was telling you about this before, saffron, um, you, you hear saffron as a spice that is integrated with a lot of wood, leather, uh, you know how, how it goes. But when I heard that you were doing a saffron-centric fragrance, I had no idea what to expect. We know it's, it's a velvety, uh, you know, facet, uh, and it's, it's from Greece, right? So please talk about how is it working with saffron, and how did you um, do, do the whole creation? Well, well the, the challenge when you create a fragrance from an ingredient is, is to find uniqueness. You know, Matière Première, when we created French flower, which was a tubereuse, we took the tubereuse to something very bright, very, 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 very white-like, instead of dark. For the saffron, crystal saffron was the same kind of uh, philosophy. Um, most of the saffron, as you said, are worked with ambery, dark, woody, right. um, you know, sensual uh, scents. Well, crystal saffron is, took the saffron to an opposite direction. Uh, my idea was really to work around this idea of brightness, of clarity, of crispiness, almost fresh, but I mean, unique genderless, I would say. I, a few years ago, in fact, for this opus, uh, a few years ago, it's actually, I found a new ingredient that I didn't know, natural saffron coming from Greece. Uh, to be honest with you, I've worked with saffron ingredients in the past, but not natural saffron. 
Uh, this saffron comes from the north of uh, Greece. There's a region called Kozani. And they produce one of the most qualitative saffron you can find in the world, which this saffron is very specific because it's very crisp, very bright, a bit like probably like the weather over there, okay. with the sun, uh, this kind of, yeah, huge light. It's not so mm -hmm. spicy, in fact, okay. it's more uh, it's more vertical, vibrant, fresh. Mm -hmm. And my idea when I created uh, Crystal Saffron was to go to a genderless fragrance. Okay. All our fragrances at Matière Première are genderless, but in the case of Crystal Saffron, I, I really wanted to keep this unique texture. So I, I associated the saffron from Greece, it's a saffron oil, with some incense from Somalia. A bit of musk that really wraps you know, this saffron impression and uh, an ombreness given by Ambroxan. But sweetness as well, and that was for me the crystal. And I was wondering how would you have, there is a mineral aspect in it. Could we, could we smell it? Yes, of Can course. Let, let me get just yeah. a, uh, a bottle. Yeah. So, oh, yes. it has the so Middle Eastern. This is one. So, you know, I of, of, often makes me smile because you try to create perfumes and everybody sees different facets when you when you yeah. launch it. So I love your analysis, yeah. uh, Howell, because there is like a, a kind of sweetness in the back that is actually giving like addiction to, to that to that kind of vibrancy that you find in the notes. Yeah, in the beginning when I smelled it, it, it felt like, you know, those Middle Eastern fragrances, but without the loudness. It is loud on the screen or it's long lasting, but it, it still has so much character and DNA. It's sweet, it's you know crystally, it's sugary, but it, it's so difficult to, it's one fragrance I have so di so much difficulties to explain because so much going on. And I think on the skin with the masks, it's just really beautiful in the air, right? Well, I would like to think so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really, you know, I've been wearing it since, since a week now. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's something unique. It was missing from the collection, I think, you know? Um, well, you know, t uh, having a tech on, on the spice was missing and, mm -hmm. and also I think it's just a matter of finding a unique texture. I think yeah. the challenge is to find, you know, something that actually takes you to, to a very specific and unique impression. So all our fragrances must be very dis distinctive in a way yeah. because that's, I think, what you want when you wear a fragrance. You should, you should have no doubt about what you're wearing, right. you know. Yeah. And you are right about genderless. I think this is somehow like a timeless uh, take on, on spice, which is saffron. But I'm curious about, you said that it's a natural saffron and it's the first time. So how is saffron made in general? Is it, is it more of a synthetic thing? Like well, you, you know, we have a different ingredients in the palettes when we create fragrances. Uh, one ingredient that I absolutely adore is safraline. Mm -hmm. Safraline is a beautiful ingredient that really replicates a kind of vibrant uh, impression that you find in saffron. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, there are other ingredients, but you, you have synthetics and naturals. Right. You know, in this case, on, you know, we also have some saffron in the fragrance, okay. in the perfume. Um, but the take was really on, on this kind of uh, unique spice. You know, I've always, you know, I traveled around the world, whether it was in the Middle East, uh, in many Medi Mediterranean culture, but also um, even like culture further in the east where saffron is present mm -hmm. and it's a symbol of uh, luxury of course right. but it's also I felt very unique to make something that was really vibrating you know to create a unique spice right and it was really yeah that was that was cool to work on on this on this theme and you know at Matière Première quite often what creates the desire to launch a new perfume is the fact that we find uh, we find a unique source sourcing. Mm -hmm. uh, the saffron that we use is actually made by local farmers in Greece, uh, so they have a, a really beautiful approach. I mean, you have to keep in mind that to obtain uh, just a kilo of uh, saffron oil, you need, I think, like so many stigmas of flowers, wow. you know, the, those just, crocus flowers. These are petals, right? It yeah. It's inside the flowers. Yes, have to it's not it. the petals, it's actually the, 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 what we say, uh, yes, okay. like the pistil, like the, wow. the stigmas that are inside the flowers. So in every flower there must be like five or six of those that are hand-picked, wow. 
then you know they make a big pile of this. You can see it actually on our visuals. At Matière Première, we, we like this idea of showcasing uh, the ingredient be before it gets processed. Yeah. And we try to preserve the beauty of the ingredient. You know? So we try to have a kind of uh, yeah, minimalistic, minimalistic approach, and we, which is not always easy. You know, mm -hmm. to, it's a bit like people who are good at writing are yeah. always amazed because some people are capable to write in a very simple sentence some very complex things. Right. Well, I would like to think that at Matière Première, I try to do the same, you know, right. to express a kind of uh, complexity with a sense of simplicity. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, that's the art uh, of, 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 of making something simple that also smells complex and tells the story. And I think uh, that's, that's really the amazing thing about, about the fragrance. Is it already launched, Julian? Uh, we launched, uh, I think, a week ago. Okay. Uh, in you know, with our partners, yeah. uh, you can find it on matierpremier.com, of course. Uh, but yeah, we have people like it, so you know, it's always a release when you when you launch a new fragrance, when you have a specific point of view on a fragrance, when you try to create something unique. You never know. Of course, you follow your your instincts, yeah, yeah. and and you know, and but. Uh, you never know how people will react and so far we've been amazed by the number of people who have been uh, uh, I think uh, you know asking about it wearing it so yeah it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic that's amazing you know, congratulations on this because talking about fragrances and we are in Cannes right now for duty free and I was wondering because I was at a lot of brands and a lot of people and brands are playing with fruits right now did you realize that it's that it's this now a trend, there was vanilla a trend, oud a trend and a lot of fruits. I was completely surprised and then it's just refreshing to smell something spicy and sweet and you know. Yeah, I always say that uh, I respect a lot of other people's work because I think some people do great, great, great work. But we, we don't follow trend. Right. In Matière Première, <laughs> we follow what we want to do and we don't care for trends. Right. How do you maybe even start one, right? So when 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 you know French flower came in, and I was comp uh, you know I was I grew up with tuberose, and I was just curious how would you do it because that was not the classical tuberose from India, but you grew grew them yourself, and uh, I always like that you're always pushing the boundaries and create something that it doesn't exist, right? Because that comes from your mind and passion, and like you mentioned, you you didn't smell it before. Uh, the, the natural one from Greece and now uh, I think it's really something signature worthy, you know, people cannot expect it when, when they smell it and I think that's the... Yeah, I, I think we have a unique take on raw materials at Matière Première, you know, we produce our own um, tuberous in an organic way, we produce yeah. our own rose centifolia in the grass region and this is implemented in, the, in, the, in our fragrance house. So, you know, having some of our own ingredients makes it very special for me as a perfumer. Right. Uh, you know, to me, Matière Première is a dream come true because uh, I am free enough to work for the most incredible couturier around the world. But on top of that, to have my own fragrance house, to cultivate my own ingredients and right. to work with, uh, with a great team of people that are half colleagues, half friends. Right. So, and, and to, yeah, to get to leave those moments with you. Absolutely. No, it's just, it's really a pleasure. Yeah, it's, um, um, I'm so happy to be associated with the brand. Um, uh, I'm really happy that I can sit with you and, and talk about the fragrances. Um, is it something that you're working on right now uh, that you can share with us? Um, <laughs> well, not the fragrances. Well, I'm always working on something. <laughs> but something. It's, okay. Um, I'm working on a development for next year, but for now, you know, Mathieu Premier, we are not going to launch any new, any new fragrances for, for, for some time. Okay. We are now in the portfolio, we have, I think, like 10 fragrances. I mean, okay. we have uh, Cologne Cedra, which is a citron. We have uh, Bois d'Eben, which is a dark ambry wood. We have Santal Ostra, which is a creamy wood. Uh, we have some flowers with uh, Neroli Orange, which yeah. is an orange flower. Radical Rose. Yeah, so it's, it's, really uh, a good mix. It's, it's really a mix of everything. Everyone would find something. I mean, falcon leather, completely oh, yes, powerful. Like I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a completely different direction and a powerhouse. So, yeah. Yeah, and we feel, you know, you shouldn't launch too many fragrances for yeah. us. We want to be at our own rhythm. We feel there's also already, I think, enough, uh, enough fragrances with, 
we've taken and yeah a launch is, is a special moment so you right. don't make it happen too often <laughs> no absolutely and i think it, a lot of brands uh, they have the pressure to to bring something because people are asking hey what are you coming up with next and we have two big events three big events a year and every year people are saying what's new but you know you also have to be happy uh, with uh, and satisfied with what and a good creation takes a lot of time i guess and i think um i i respect it when there are only two fragrances a year but I reach out for those two fragrances. You know what I mean? Like there are brands, or we are having now three fragrances mm -hmm. together. Okay, great. But then you realize that you know maybe they didn't work so hard on two. You know maybe one is good. You know and they could have been fine only launching that one because that smells finished. If it makes sense, you know. Yeah. Well, at least it's. I don't know about the others. It's yeah. my rhythm. Uh, I, all I can tell you is um, it was. Probably the only year, 2022, where Matière Première launched two fragrances, yeah. this French flower and crystal saffron. Yeah. Now on, it will be one fragrance a year. Yeah. No, 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 probably not more than this. Yeah. So we want to stay very selective on our launches, and also to let people and to let you know our creation time yeah. to 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 be known, so that people can wear them. You know, fragrance is also about time. Fragrance yeah. is also about you know about letting a uh, creation exist so yeah. yeah we're trying we're trying to do that but there's no rules you, yeah. you, you know i like to think that the less um, the less marketing plan there are the better it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you are right about letting uh, letting that fragrance breathe so to say because i mean parisian mask right i tried it two years ago and i rediscovered it and i wrote to karen hey you know it's it's just two years ago maybe i was in a different mindset maybe the time was not it was different, you know, I didn't understand Parisian mask. Two years later, I tried and I'm completely blown away. So I think it's, it's with fragrances. I mean, your nose matures, uh, you are in a different headspace, you know, I don't know, skin is working differently that day, you know what I mean? It's just, it's always great to, 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 to rediscover the fragrances and I think there is something for everyone. So I just would like to congratulate you on building such, a, such a beautiful brand and I'm happy to be associated with it and I'm uh, happy that I could introduce the brand and you to my to my friends uh, on YouTube. Thank you, Howell. You're yes, a great, great support. I mean, we, we feel very lucky to have a passionate community of people who are into fragrances. Yeah. And yeah, and, and we share the same passion. Yes, and I really take a lot of uh, pride in, 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 you know, educating the audience, my, including myself. So I'm just happy that we did this. Uh, can't wait for you to smell crystal saffron. Please let me know, let Arlia know on Instagram how you feel about this. And I will write about it uh, much more in detail. It's a beautiful sun coming through. Uh, in detail on my Instagram. And yeah, let us know. And have a nice one, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.